Hey, welcome back again to new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel. This is Poco X6 Plus NFC custom ROM reviews. Back with new video here. Platform version 14. I mean, the Dark Fest OS, guys. In the previous video, I said this is a best uh, smooth uh, ROM. Is it the same or not? Let's check in the video. By the way, if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. Many people watch my videos in that only 3 to 10 percent will subscribe the channel other people will simply watch the video and go away at least like the video guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos you can see the version of this 14 android version is also 14 here and security patches june 5 2024 which is latest available for any android smartphone maintainer and kernel user is 4.14.348 yhwach kernel has been used and selenium status is enforcing one thing I will say, the smoothness is not the same, but it's not bad though. But the previous version, what I made was extremely smooth. Here, extremely can be removed. That's it, but it's smooth still. Sometimes it happens, guys, uh, the same version or the same ROM will not be the same in the different versions. That is true here. And straight away will show some results. People are eagerly waiting for that anyhow 391538 is the anti to benchmark this is 0.2 degree celsius is the temperature is and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped here i am using this version of anti to if you use the same also if you are not getting the score it depends upon several factors again and that's how what i score got here and 748 is the single score and 1837 is the multi score geekbench 6.3.0 i am using here the version and under version 14 and as i said before links 4.14.348 kernel has been used here basic integrity cts profile match both are getting passed nowadays but device is not getting certified but here good thing is device is certified now you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay n number of payment applications are available all are going to work fine here if you use magics and modules then you need to hide them if you just flash the rom without magics then using payment application is not at all a problem in this particular rom again this is the drm information regarding hdr support but anyhow i uh, really not liking the hdr how it shows anyhow that's how we get here and level one certified that is good thing we can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution at least and this is the internet speed i'm getting a little bit lower compared to other devices and other roms you can see 200 is my plan here at all always i'll get above that but for some reason here i'm getting less and this is the highest i tried four to five times and i got this one so little bit internet connectivity issue might there in this particular rom i'm not sure it's there here in my rom at least and this is the sequential read rate speed test here you can see and this is the charging first it shows around 4 1 pm it shows charging slowly and it was at 40 percent and you can see again it shows around 4 5 charging slowly only 44 percent but it uh, it is going to charge faster only but it's not showing here i try to capture when it is when it will show rapidly but it is not showing coming to apps here and this home screen you can check out dark plancher has been used you can get some customizations here already explained these things in my previous video too nothing has been changed here as you can see themed icons you'll get these options here once you enable that here and you need to use this wallpaper and style and you get these options like enable themed icons it how it looks like as you can see system wide themed icons is given here i already explained these things in my previous video also disable now monochrome icons other things i have already explained this now moving into the other apps like camera here it's a basic camera guys just to snap a video and photo you will get this uh, if you want to use any advanced thing always gcam is perfect solution for you you can use any gcam lmc agc those are new one if you want to go something older arnobel gcam is also very good for this poco x slash nfc let me know in the comment section guys other people will also be benefited with this idea which gcam you are using for this poco xc let me know in the comment section each and every person will be using different gcam and different xml 
mention your gcam and xml using for this particular uh, device and is it supported for all roms or not let me know in the comment section again it will be helpful for others again you will get some gallery application pre-installed here and nothing else i can say and dialer you will get that basic google dialer only direct video call feature will be there and call recording with announcement is also there nothing so uh, great here coming to other things like firewall this is the one you will get it it's like thermal profiles i think so let me know in the conversation again if i'm wrong about that and settings again it remains very similar to previous rom and this all the recent apps we'll go into settings again you get this dark space here you get all this customization like battery status bar clock settings traffic indicators carrier label miscellaneous settings logo and other things you will get it and if you slide island notification and quick settings lock screen ui and ambient always on display and again general settings like unlimited photo storage in google photos is available and this is the other things you get pulse and all you will get it no high fps count option here to enable let's see that within a while the bgma gameplay now moving into battery again battery the battery life has been improved a little bit here compared to previous version smoothness reduced means battery life is increased no that is not quite obvious here i'm saying with my uh, experience i'm saying the little bit of battery life is good in this particular rom battery light again it's fine here charging control you get other options battery optimization block sensors again you can select individual apps here this is how the battery and battery life guys charging speed as i said it will not show you charging rapidly but it is charging around 18 to 20 watts that's what i noticed and sound and vibration again you get different feedback haptic feedback vibration patterns here and direct sound settings are given i'll show you that again and display you'll get override dark mode here only force dark mode yeah it doesn't seems like in the dark mode yeah here you get pure black that is different and this is different yeah i'll turn this off and enable blurs and also you get live display options here color calibration picture adjustment you get it hue saturation brightness contrast you can adjust them colors options you get three here auto rotate skin peak refresh rate minimum refresh rate, smart cover full screen apps again if certain apps is not playing in the full screen just enable that and tap to wake tap to sleep are given here and working fine accessibility menu again it's my personal favorite guess uh, just without actually using the physical buttons you can access the volume from virtual buttons again into the system you get gestures here you get all the necessary options here swipe to screenshot is given and this one gesture okay navigation mode here they would have been given the options to this one as you can see one handed mode sometimes it will be difficult to handle that they would have given the option to increase the pill length and radius that's simply missing custom gesture options i really like it very different approach here you'll get all these four options l swipe action from left and right and that to vertical and long swipe you can choose the actions as you can see this is a little bit newer what i can see in this particular room again in the direct sound settings like xiaomi parts you get direct sound settings like headphone part and preset and smart scene selections are there kcl is given and lcd features don't enable this case unless it is useful for you if you enable and keep it like that your battery life will drastically decreases thermal profiles has been included here and buttons again these are the things you get it in this particular rom guys coming to uh, security and privacy again you get face unlock and uh, fingerprint unlock also you get app lock and some of the other settings are given here let me check out the fingerprint unlock first it's fast enough and the face unlock you guys can see it's also fast enough to unlock your smartphone using this particular dark faced os case it's really good the june security patch is added feature smoothness is still there but if you're in already in the previous version no need to update for it unless until you need latest and greatest uh, software security patch then that is also fine this is also fine you will not notice that difference uh, that's how it is guys and this is really really good rom i will definitely suggest it as a daily and this is the quick settings toggles as you can see 
we're going to actually customize them and in the edit section this is the other options you get it this is looking a little bit different but if you don't like it you can definitely change it out and we'll see bjma how it handles in this particular rom and disappointing is graphic settings is only 40 fps here and there is no option to increase that also let's see at least how it handles as you can see it was so quick i not even noticed who came and killed me this is what happened if you just lower the fps like this it will be very difficult to play these kind of games and gaming experience is not that great here to be frank i don't know what was the previous version had the gaming experience here it's not the same maybe the new version of bgm is not compatible with this particular version of the rom again sometimes it happens like that Yeah, that was very close. Anyhow, we'll come back here. Uh, that's the Dubfest OS case with June security patch. And think out, guys, which areas uh, you're looking for, what it is good, what it is bad. I have everything said about that. Look into your area of interest, where it is, and how it is. It, if it is fitting for you, you can definitely use it as a delder. If not, you can stay on the previous version, or you can check out many other ROMs available for this. Poco X slash NFC guys. Uh, that's the video here and the conclusion. We'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now.